guys i hope you have a great day so i finally managed to go to Primark. <laughs> like i wasn't going on purpose before because i would drive past and i would see a massive queues and i was like i ain't doing that i'm not standing for a few hours in a queue for Primark. i'm sorry if i'm disappointing you but i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so eventually I was driving past, so I was driving to other shops and I seen no queue in a Primark. I was like, okay, I'll go in. So I went to Primark eventually and dun dun dun, here's what I got. So let's see, right? To begin with, I was slightly bit disappointed with Primark this time. I mean, I never thought of a Primark in this way before. Like usually I was just going to get some socks and I would get plenty of extra things without thinking of it but i went this time to just you know check if i like something and just buy it because you can't really try anymore in primark or any other shops because of a covid so you need to buy it and later return if you wish i was a bit disappointed with the choice of the things we had in my size they had plenty amazing beautiful clothes and all but it wasn't available in my size which I was really disappointed. Maybe it's because I was, you know, too lazy to stand in the massive queue and to get in, in the shop earlier on. Maybe that's the shelves are quite empty. I don't know, but here's the things that I could get my hands on to. Because it's the summer, I got some shades, because, you know, you have to. I took a tag off already. This costs three pounds. And there's just a round, like, like a classic glasses. I'll just put it on so you guys see. I love these glasses, by the way. Love it love 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 this what do you think okay when i leave a comment down below let me know let me know which item will be your favorite actually yeah love these shades i obviously didn't try this on in the shop because of the virus as you know i got one more pair of shades because it's primark it's never enough shades you know you can't have too many sunglasses this costs three pounds as well these are more of a like cat eye like shades Oh, these are huge. Wait, I've got to see myself in the mirror. Like, it hides half my face. Maybe it's good, actually. <laughs> okay, enough about glasses. When going to Primark, you always gotta pick a pair of socks. So I did. I picked, what is that? Three pairs, arch support with cushion sole sports socks. <gasps> cushion sole, what? I didn't know this. It looks super fluffy. That costs only three pounds of three pairs. That means one pound per pair super soft super fluffy i thought it's gonna be perfect for exercising because i do exercise nearly daily especially in the morning so i thought it's gonna be perfect for that three pounds a bargain as well everything in primark is right oh i picked up this uh, mascara as well this cost only 250 this mascara i had this before and i absolutely love it i might do a separate video about primark makeup because you guys this mascara and another two mascaras from primark they killing it like amazing i can't even yeah this is really good so this brush is like a rubber brush it has this like a spiky end for inner eye corner for lower lash line perfect can't recommend this more if you go to primer get this mascara it doesn't like flake or run or bleed or anything like that sits perfectly on my super oily skin you know in my hooded eyes it doesn't leave this little dots after like waiting all day the cheapest mascara and literally the best like i love this another thing related to makeup that i picked up is the naturals 50 oval organic cosmetic pads made from 100 percent organic cotton cost 90p another thing i got is this pack of scrunches it costs only two pounds for free i love it it's kind of like silky so what is perfect for hair especially for sleeping i don't know about you but i do like to sleep with my hair tied up in a bun like in a loose bun not to get it tangled because my hair somehow tangles around like my hair is not that short it tangles around like crazy at the back if i don't do that so i thought the silky one would be perfect to not damage the hair so if you sleep with a you know hair up in a bun make sure it's a loose bun and you use something like this like a silky scrunchie yeah so that's handy thing and only two pounds i was like yes i need one okay so other accessories that i got is this pack of tweezers so that costs only one pound for two tweezers and these are always handy and recently i managed to break my tweezers it's just because if you watch my previous video i redone my makeup room the studio where i filmed and basically I couldn't unscrew one screw so I used the tweezer for that and the tweezer just broke so I was like oh my god I need tweezers 
So here we go. I got a tag from Primark for only one pound. This was on the man side, and I like that it was, you know, gray like this, like a matte gray, but a pointy one and a flat one. Okay, another thing I got, and I always get it from Primark because it works perfectly as the expensive fancy one, and it's super cheap. So I got the eyelash curler. It costs only one pound. So this eyelash curler does exactly the same job as the fancy, expensive eyelash curler would, and you would still need or to, you know, get rid of it or replace this spongy part. So this is the one I usually get if mine gets, you know, old and looks like this and needs to be replaced. So that's the one I get. Or if sometimes Primark actually does the replacement cushions and I just get the cushion. But if not, then I get the eyelash curler. So I needed one. So I got one. Another accessory makeup related thing I got is the makeup artist tape. So that intrigued me. I don't really ever use the tape to do the eyeliner or eyeshadow but I thought you know what I'm gonna try especially that it said that it's a makeup artist tape we can just open and see how thick it is maybe because with a normal tape like scotch tape or even the you know the paper tape that you can get my skin doesn't like it it gets too irritated so I could never even use it so let's just see how this one works see it has like a little grip thing going on I don't know if, uh, if my skin would be happy with this because it's quite sticky, like properly on. I'll give it a go, I'll let you know if it works. Okay, the rest of the items that I got in here is clothes. I don't really remember what I got, but we'll see soon. Every time I go to Primark, I always get socks and underwear because you never can have too many socks and underwear, right? So I got this pair of underpants, which is from Primark Collection. It costs I think three pounds a fancy tag. Yeah, this costs three pounds. I wasn't sure if I'm XS or XXS, so I took XS. So I mean, it should be fine. I think material itself is super soft. Like I really like it. It has this lace detail in front, like a bit see through as well. And then it is like a bit like a spandex kind of material at the back, and then Brazilian cut. Yeah, I think it was gonna be cute. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I got some sporty things because during this lockdown I got into exercising a bit more than I was before. So I got the standard like a black cycling shorts. So I took in a size 2 excess and this costs only six pounds. Material is kind of spandex-like. It's not like a knitted material, you know, like you can get. It's more like a spandex-like material and then I love, love, love that it has this super stretchy high waistband, like a white high waistband, which is perfect. And then at the back, I like that it has like this booty cut, like, oh, I just hope you guys see this, like you see this line, so in. I actually got loads of detail going on, it's super comfortable, looks pretty, it's so trendy as well, I'm sure you guys seen it, like trending all over, all girls wearing, you know, black cycling shorts with a hoodies or even with, you know, trendy blazer or anything like this, super comfortable, handy for exercising and going out if you style it up correctly, so yeah, love, love, love this. So talking about exercising, I picked up these leggings like sports leggings so these are knitted material like i was talking about this shorts is like more spandex material kind of these are knitted like if you guys see once again has super wide high-waisted band like mega super mega stretchy which kind of hold everything in which is perfect and i love that it has this like detail going on in the legs as well on the sides so once again i took in a double xs and this cost 10 pounds they say on a label that is made using recycled materials contains at least 30 percent of recycled materials look at that well done primer you guys i actually love this i think it looks amazing it's quite thick i wasn't expecting that perfect for exercising because it's super stretchy very very comfortable like very very comfortable sits really nicely on the waist it looks nice on you could definitely you know make it work for outwear as well not only for the gym wear i think yeah love this what do you guys think so because it's summertime i needed to get a bikini even though i'm sure i'm not going on holiday anywhere this year like i can forget about anything and i think you're probably not heading anywhere too right but i just 
seen this bikini, I was like, oh my god, I really love this. I need to get it for other years when we're allowed to travel properly. <laughs> so I got this bikini. I got this bikini top actually only because I like to mix and match my bikinis so and I'm a bit weirdo. I took in a size 6 because I wasn't really sure what size I would need. So I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me or no. I love this haggy color. This cost six pounds as you see and once again it says that it's made from recycled materials. It's just like a plain triangle bikini. It doesn't really have push-up. I mean it has this little thing but it doesn't look like a push-up because it's so thin. So I don't know, it might be too small, it might be, I don't know you guys, like I was guessing because you know you can't try it, so you have this adjustable strips, so you can make it bigger or smaller the way you prefer, I love the way it looks, it's very comfy, what do you guys think? I love it. Another thing that I got is a zip up hoodie, but this one I got from a man's section like from the man's side of the primer it's just because i prefer the hoodies better like i purchased before from a man's part the hoodies i don't know if you ever wander around in a man's section but i do and this hoodie was just like looking at me so i was like oh my god plus everyone needs a good hoodie i actually don't have at the moment that black zip up hoodie because it's just so simple and so handy and you can style it up i can use with my own bitch gym gear that i got i got it in size s and this cost eight pounds i like that it has this like a fluffy like fleece material inside i just hope you guys see this like a super warm material i actually think size s looks perfect it's so so super comfortable it's so warm another closing items that i got like i wanted to get so many things but they didn't have my sizes like some pretty dresses and like tops but all the sizes were too big like yeah i must have went wrong time to the shop or before we were restocking the you know sizes and all i got a few more things from nan size so i got this basic t-shirts because i love basic t-shirts who, like, who doesn't like a basic t-shirt and in the man size it costs only well this one costs 350 but i got two costs only two pounds i took in a size l so it's gonna be like proper oversized plus if it's not gonna fit me it's gonna be good for my hubby so this one is a different material it's a bit more like a stretchy one the green one so this one was 350 what i like to do is just make a knot and wear like this or it looks amazing under the blazer or even with like leather jacket plus i love these but it's longer sleeves so you can style it up like really nicely so i got the gray and the black was only two pounds which is you know even better than the black one once again i love the way it sits so you can style up just the way you want and then in the navy color i love this t-shirt it's so simple but yeah it's so comfy and you can wear it in so many ways you, know, you can style it up you can make it you know t-shirt dress yeah so many ways to wear it i just really hope that i'm not the only one who's shopping from a man's size of a primary shop not only from a girl's side i'm like taking over it yeah leave a comment down below let me know if you do the same i hope i'm not the only one so i got one more thing from a primer and it's the bedding i'm gonna insert a video how it looked the packaging because i already washed it and dressed my bed with it because i wash my bedding before i use it i don't know if you do but i just like the smell like a fresh bedding not the best or what one because it's just nicer to sleep if you know it's fresh scent and all so about the fitted sheets the pillow covers which is all cotton and then the duvet set that included a two pillow covers and the duvet cover this duvet set though you guys it costs only 25 pounds but the material is the softest you could ever touch the first night we was bedding we slept like babies it's just so soft so nice to touch i think i'm gonna come back to primark and get more colors than that or just go again for white as you see i went for the gray sheets and then the white duvet set because i prefer to you know mix the match and i don't mind the whole bedding to be white or whole bedding to be gray but i kind of like this you know balance of white and gray so i went for that so i might go and get maybe a gray color because the material is just so nice so material is super soft it's two sides as well one has like a different type of material more like the texture and another is a plain cotton which is super soft I literally can't recommend this more if you guys haven't tried primary bedding 
give it a go you won't regret so really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please let me know in the comments down below which items favorite as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i didn't get too many things although to be honest i spent nearly 100 pounds for all of this so it wasn't like super mega cheap if you think right but then i didn't get like as many things as i thought i would get that makes any sense yeah leave a comment down below let me know if you went to primark recently how was your experience if you were disappointed since i honestly was and if you liked any of the items that i got and maybe you have any of these and or what you would like to see next up on my channel should i do more reviews tutorials vlogs fashion hauls let me know in the comments below and i shall see you very very soon so if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel more have a great day guys bye